It is now Friday, March 8, 2024. It's about five minutes in front of nine o'clock a.m. Eastern. And you are looking at six levels that have been calculated and put on the chart so we can trade against these in the e-mini futures today. The vertical line on the left is where the spiders closed yesterday. And you can look up in the upper left part of the screen, the green 51660 that's moving is where the pre-market is now currently. Market opens in 30 minutes, 35 minutes or so, and we will check back after the market closes. It is right after five o'clock, market's closed. You're looking at the two levels the spiders hit, produced several trades. We'll take a look at them. There was a fumble, a reversal, a recycle, but the first one was pretty straightforward. It was a long trade at 516.48 and it launched off that. We'll see the recording of all of these in real time. And this next trade was a long trade here when it came down to 513.20, that was the operating level. Produced a fumble, a base hit was pulled out on the reversal of that fumble, and then a recycle worked and required some patience, but we'll take a look at the recording of that and I'll talk through it. You'll notice that the looking at the clock in the lower right hand corner of the screen that it was pretty much right at 9.45 a.m. when I bought at the market where the market where the uh, spiders were because they were right above that 516.48 I didn't adjust the level and very quickly you just saw that four points pulled out and I put this level I'm going to pause this to show you that I put this level 517.40 on the chart and decided against it I didn't want to confuse anybody took it off and just did a little experiment on one of my other screens but that 517.40 was one of those longer term levels that I use um, I've shown them in magenta lines before, at least one other time. And they're more for, like I said, longer term trades. They take more time to develop, but you can pour, pull more points, like 10 or more trail. They're good for trailing um, trailing stops. So I took it off, but let's keep that in mind because 5.17.40 was the high of the day or that that area. It would have worked great um, for a different type of trade. So that's what that's there for. They never got up to 5.18.65. So I'll scrub ahead here to show you. Revise the order. Came back down through 516.48. Doesn't matter. I'm not concerned anymore. And they got closer to 513.20. They pulled away, pulled away, pulled away again. And then when that trade was triggered, I'll let it play from here. It was almost immediately out of the money. And of course, as you know, once it gets below that line in the sand, which you'll see in the red line, on the spider chart, I'm looking for something, certain things to materialize that would tell me that this trade should be reversed. So it took some time. I gave it a little bit more wiggle room, but it became pretty clear looking at some other indications that I, indicators that I have that it was time to reverse. But unfortunately, it was around 10 points in the red at that point. I'll scrub ahead and you'll see they got back up into the money. That was kind of a, a hint that this was, uh, they were still going to reject the, uh, the level and go lower. But I got the real signal. Right about, you'll see the long four go to short four pretty soon. And something else I'll point out in a moment is initially I was going to buy all four contracts back. And then I revised that to buy three and trail one at six points. So you'll see when they, uh, right there. So I bought three just in time. I'm trailing one. Had a pretty good feeling they were going to lower it and drag that down with the with price. And they did. And then I thought, well, it'd be good just to, if they went all the way down to this next level, I'll just buy five um, contracts. So I would clear out the one. I'd be long four at that point if they got down there. They didn't, unfortunately. They got pretty close. But I never got that level of 510.99. And when they sought me out, it was 200 and something, $50, $60 on the remaining contract right there. That's as far as, as low as they went. So wouldn't have triggered either way. I had a limit order on the chart pretty much in the vicinity. So they stopped me out on the remaining contract and you'll see the five is ordered to go long five. I just revised it to four because it's still valid. If they were to come back down, I would still want to go four long four at that point, but it never happened because they never got that low. Let me just speed this up. I'm not sure when that there we go played out. But then as they went higher, I realized they're probably not going to come back down. So I just uh, canceled that order, just deleted off the screen and started looking higher because I'm willing to take a recycle now at 513.10 because that's five cents on the southern side to meet prices that's coming up from the calculated level of 513.15. That makes sense. And this one took some patience because for one thing, I'm looking at other indications, indices, charts, a lot of other things and on my other screens. And there was a lot of 
um, indications that there was going to be some resistance up here and the spiders would fall. Um, but they kind of faked me out for a little bit or faked others out, but I held on out of the money for a while, as you can see, but it paid off waited for them to come down. Just hoping it would happen before three 30 or so. And it did right there. And I'll just pause this because really nothing happened after, after, uh, this trade. And let's go back and look at the full day just for perspective. Two levels satisfied. A lot of things happened on this one. And the 513.15 is the or was the calculated level, and it was 513.20 on the long trade, and it was 513.10 on the short trade. It's just like how, like a, it's how I like to do it. It tends to pull in more trades, and that way you're pulling more, more triggers. And that was it. And on the tracking log, you see the first, first good base hit, and the next level that uh, fumbled, reversed, recycled, so lost 10 points, got 12 total. I did trail that one, so my my day was more like well, $526 to be exact after commission. So this is the the, uh, the week, last two weeks, and not too bad. I want to look at a two-week rolling average here. For at least four contracts, averages 705 a day. Not too bad, I'll take it. Thanks again for watching, liking, and subscribing. Have a great day.